Okay, so I've figured out what was wrong in the previous one. So, um, for some reason, this basically seems to be running twice when the collision peaks. So, a better way of doing this is to only run it when the object is getting destroyed. So, I'll copy that, cut that, and put it in here. So the on destroy method comes when this object is being destroyed. When we call node.destroy, um, that's when um, this is going to, to be called. And so we'll only spawn the star uh, when, the, when the game is, uh, when the star is being destroyed. So this is um, how, it, how I've solved it. So this has prevented um, it from spawning uh, multiple stars over over and over okay yeah let me also just do something to raise the ground a little bit higher uh, because it's uh when the, the the player is a little too high okay so there we go so our problem is gone so yes so stick around for the next one we'll be talking about how to add the score and then we'll do sound in our final so the last thing we'll do in this one is basically remove these um, circles um, they're, they're just useful when debugging to show whether they are actually colliding but they're not necessary um, for a deploy, uh, in deployment. So like that, then this concludes our collision manager section. So now our game looks like that. I love it, I love it. Okay, so this is the end of the collision manager section. Like, subscribe, um, if you are interested, you can subscribe um, and get more Cocos Creator content in the future. Um, as mentioned in the previous tutorials, um, there will be details in the descriptions for my other courses that are on Udemy. If you are interested, you can get some discounts off. Uh, I'll end here.